past year, a couple of years, you gave it back about you know, taking or about the coach Thibodeau talking about you taking shots that don't put as much of an onus on the referees to blow the whistles. But you got to the rim pretty comfortably tonight a couple times. Do you feel like that is a shift that has happened that you are more comfortable with your decisions with the ball in your hands, especially around the rim? <clears throat> uh, yeah, sure. Just been watching a lot of the a lot of the film, and I'm um, just trying to see where where I could be better, and uh, so that you know, been trying to been trying to do that, and um, trying to get to the line more. As a group, the difference from what you guys came out with, building a 15 point lead, and, and what they did in the third quarter. What, what do you think turned there? Made a lot of threes, you know. Uh, Tough to stay in the game when when a team is making uh, threes like that. So uh, you know, but at the end of the day, we got another game tomorrow, so we got to clean it up because it was kind of you know it's kind of frustrating, um, especially knowing that you know we actually had a really good first half. Um, the tail of the two halves was you know kind of crazy, so um, we got to try to play a 48 minute game. What do you do to flush? What do you do to flush a game like today when you got a quick turnaround tomorrow? I mean, you just, as soon as we leave here, you just gotta you gotta let it go. You know, um, you gotta let it go and uh, just come ready tomorrow. Cause you know, I mean, no one feels bad for you, so you gotta just try to come tomorrow and get a win. Jalen was saying they wanted it more than you guys. Is it, you know, there's been mention of intensity or effort. Is that disturbing to you that it, three, four times it's happened? We we'll talk about that after. I mean, you know, to, like today especially, it was just it was really frustrating. Um, I think we started off very well. We were playing a really good game, and then it just it flipped all of a sudden. So, um, yeah, it's definitely frustrating. In general, not just not just today, you guys in third quarters this year, it's been your worst worst quarter. If you just look at like score differential, mm -hmm. but it's been like really stark. Mm -hmm. why, why do you think that is? Why is that continued? I don't know. Uh, maybe because. I, I don't know, but also like a lot of times, maybe we have good first, second quarters. You know, the other team is gonna is gonna give you their their best punch. You know, coming out the break, and uh, especially if we're playing well in the first half, we gotta know that, and uh, we can't let it happen. Is is it possible that the other the opposite can be true too? Like, do you feel at all like there's a sort of like okay, you're like a comfort level, of, like okay, you're up seven, you're comfortable, and you don't come out. I don't say a comfort level. I'll, I'll just say like. The other team is, is good too, you know. So they don't they don't want to lose either, you know. So they're 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 coming out with um you know some intensity. All right, what was most upsetting about the second half? Besides the obvious, obviously they hit a ton of threes. I mean that the obvious was that was what was upsetting. <laughs> I mean like you know they they hit so many threes, then we didn't really give ourselves a chance. Did you, did you feel like enough of them were contested, or were they too many open looks? Some of them were contested. Some of them were open. They were making a lot of them. So, yeah, I don't know what they what they shoot like forty something percent, three, something like that. That's tough to win like that. All right, thanks very much. All right, guys, see you tomorrow.